In this section, we're going to create a picture gallery. So here I'm looking at the WordPress back end. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new page and then I'm going to insert a gallery block into that page. So as usual, we go to pages, add new. And I've just given this page the, the title of a gallery. So what I want to do now is I want to insert a new block. So I could click here or up here either. So I'll go and click here. I want to insert a gallery. So I can either upload my pictures or as I've already uploaded some pictures, I'll go to the media library. And in this case, I'll click on the first image, press down the shift key, then click on the last image. And that will select all of those images. So I'll now create what's called a new gallery. So that's been created. If I want to, I could drag things around, but I'll just leave it as it is. And I'll go and insert the gallery. So I've now got the gallery heading and these are all my images. Now, if I click within any one of these images, I can remove them. So for instance, if I didn't want that one, I could get rid of that one. Um, so it's fully editable as you can see. Over here, you've got items referring to the block. Which block? The gallery block. So if I want to, I can just drag this along so I can have like a single col or two columns in this case, like three columns, four columns, six columns, and so on and so forth. We can choose to crop or not crop images. It's probably best to leave that on. Um, if I bring this da back down again, so we go over something like this. As you can see, it's nicely formatted all of those. Again, we've got the usual things like, um, you know, making it full width if we want to. So we can adjust these things, you know, we can um, center them, align to the left, to the right, or full width. So I'll go for this full width one, that's quite a nice effect. So as you can see, it's uh, formatted those quite nicely. If I want to edit the gallery as such, I can just click within the gallery here, and then click up here where it says Edit Gallery. And from there, I can um, do various things. I can just drag and move things around, as you can see. So it's all the usual controls. Let's say you want that one first for some reason. Let's say you decide you don't want that one, so we'll have those. We'll update the gallery by clicking here, and there you are. There's your updated gallery. So as you've seen, creating a gallery is actually very straightforward. Let's go and publish this. That's now been published. It's live. If we go to the front end, we've got uh, something else that we need to do. So let's check this out. We'll go to the front end. As you can see, the gallery hasn't been automatically added to the menu. So what we need to do is to go back here, go back to Appearance, Menus, and whenever you create a new page, it's always listed at the top there. So in this case, I'll click Gallery, and I'll say Add to Menu. And I'll drag it up so we've got Contact as the last item. I'll then go and save the menu. And now if we go to the front end, you can see Gallery is now in the menu. There it is. So these are our other pages. But click on here, and we see that Gallery and we see it full width, which is quite nice. And that's how you create a gallery page, and that's also how you add a newly created page to the menu.